Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Throughout the years, I've been accused of not being safe at the range. I've done range tests where I was close to right, a right. iron target. No I shot the I target. I was trying to you. make a point, trying to see if my firearm would shoot through a car door accurately. And looking back, it wasn't the safest thing in the world. But what you're looking at right now compares nothing to what I'm about to show you. Everybody wants to get that viral video, the one that's going to be circulated all throughout the, the world, millions of views, and everybody watching it and talking about it, and they will go to extreme measures to achieve that goal. I remember a couple years back, a guy had his girlfriend take a 50 Action Express Desert Eagle, and he, and, and he held a book, and she shot the book and went right through the book and killed him. There was another case where a guy was walking through Walmart, had somebody record the reaction of the people. He ended up getting arrested. It was during very turbulent times, and it was later revealed in court that he was doing it for that viral video. Now, what we see here, I don't know if this was in the U.S. I took it off of Facebook, but what we see here is crazy stuff. A guy holding balloons with his own body in the way in the center of the range and these very good shooters were shooting at these balloons. It's for that shock value. It's for that, you know, I, I can't believe what I'm seeing kind of thing. Like You can't tell me that you couldn't tape a balloon up to a silhouette target, maybe iron, even cardboard target, and you would get that same effect. But no, you would not get that same effect because there's that danger involved. Now, initially, the guy's holding the balloons outward, stretched out, arms away from his body. They shoot the balloons. Then he puts it closer to his chest. Then he puts it closer to his head as these, these guys are shooting. Now, I would never do this. This is to a level I would never try to achieve. I wouldn't trust my shooting. I wouldn't trust the other people shooting. This would get somebody kicked out of a range in America. Now, if this is in America somewhere, I have no idea. But I guarantee that the people doing this, they are looking for viral videos. They're looking for that shock and awe, that thing like that. I, I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. It's crazy. Now, thankfully, it worked out. But imagine if it didn't. Imagine if he got shot in, in the arm, uh, even in the chest, possibly even in the head. The way those balloons were so close to his head is very dangerous, crazy stuff here. And uh, the, the shooters were great. But just one little flinch, one little question, if I could hit that target, even when they backed up a little bit, I would guess that they backed up possibly... 12 to 17 yards, you really can't tell. It's, it's shaky cell phone footage. But when they back up like that, one little mistake could cost the the man holding the balloons his life. And, and honestly, he put himself in that danger. He put extreme confidence in the shooters. The shooters put extreme confidence in themselves. It reaches a level of stupidity that could have been achieved doing something else, but it could cost somebody their lives. People looking for that viral video, doing whatever they can to garner attention to what they're trying to achieve, build up a YouTube channel, a Facebook following, whatever the case. And actually, it works. You do something stupid, you, you put yourself in danger, you put other people in danger, people want to watch. Some of the most viral videos out there are people who hate the creators and then they end up sharing those and it actually gives the creator more attention and, and I think this is a bad light on the gun community once again this is these are professional shooters there's no doubt about that but to put yourself in that type of danger sheds a bad light on everybody and it really should be avoided you know if you want to build an audience do it organically. Do it through regular content. I don't know. Just do do your thing. But to put yourself in danger like this, I just don't think it's necessary. And I think it is, well, I know it is very dangerous. And it's something that I would never do. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. And you guys be safe.